What up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and we are here today with a brand new review, you guys, for Ready to Love Season 8, episode number. Now, from my notes, I say number 9, but I guess it's number 10. Yeah, it says episode 10, but I thought it was number 9, but hey, whatever. Um, Before we go ahead and get into this episode, this episode is titled The Getaway Part 2, you guys. So, before we just jump into it, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on this channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, do me a solid favor and stop taking me out in this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, and sharing the video, you guys. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss um, Ready to Love, shall we? All right, you guys. So before we jump into it, I got to say two things. One, own y'all were very sloppy in how y'all handled this episode because last week, so you guys know I'm cool with Jessica, so I had already confirmed with Jessica that at the end of the episode that was her that Chris was going off on but I also got on Twitter last Saturday night I think it was and I saw that somebody had posted the clip you know showed the full clip of the preview for this week's episode and you could clearly see Jessica was in there but she had already confirmed this with me before I even saw that clip so yeah on that was a little sloppy so we absolutely already knew that Sierra had went home so I don't it was kind of sloppy on y'all's part. Also, I want to say a big shout out to um, Shayna, Kira Speaks, Bell Perspective, and D Movie Man. If you guys didn't see last night, I was on their panel last night and I had a great time with them. Please go support each and every one of them, you guys. Support, support, support. Um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to tag them in my video or I'm going to try to I want to put their YouTube channels in the description somewhere if it's not in the if it's not there if it's not in the video you guys will find it on my community tab i'm gonna i'm gonna post them somewhere just don't know where yet right now but yeah you guys this episode it was a snooze fest nothing really happened in this episode so we picked up where we last left off with the elimination between sierra and jessica and sierra went home this week right um, I didn't catch this until D mentioned it last night about the fact that Sierra said thank you. And when I was rewatching it, I heard her say thank you, right? So after that, the power to eliminate is back with the ladies, right? So, you know, Jessica is thinking about the wording that they use, the verbiage of combative, right? And I've told you guys I've met Jessica, not gotten a combative energy from her at all, right? She's very sweet. And she's just pretty matter of fact, you know, she says what she means and means what she says, right? What it is that I noticed with Jessica and as much like with myself, we just, I mean, a lot of people just have RBF, resting bitch face, right? It's just that. Doesn't mean she is a bitch. It just means that our faces are just like, hey, sometimes our energy just gives don't fuck with us, but it doesn't mean that. You just have to talk to us and get to know us, right? What I also will say is I didn't like the fact that the men were checking up on Marie and not Jessica, but I'm like, but she was the one that was called combative. So Janelle defended Jessica. And she's like, you know, I'm not taking this Jessica's cross. Right. And I was like, but you kind of are. But I wasn't mad at it. Right. And here's the thing. Out of all the people we call we call combative. Y'all call Jessica combative. Why not call Janelle combative? Right. And here's the thing. I've said it. I said it last night on the panel that. I don't typically like that moniker of the angry black woman, the aggressive black woman. I don't like that, right? I don't like to use that to describe black women. But like I said last night, when the shoe fits, you have to wear it. Unfor there's no skirting around. If you give aggressive, if you give mean girl, if you give angry black woman, then it is what it, you have to see. We can't skirt around it, but we cannot give that to every woman and it was a lot i saw i see a lot of pick me's people saying oh but she has been aggressive well not aggressive she has been combative show me something where jessica has been combative right please show me show me where she's been combative because i haven't saw it right you guys do realize you can have an argument with a person and it doesn't have to be perceived as aggressive or combative it doesn't have to be any of those things. You can have an intelligent conversation with people and it can get a little, you know, when we express our thoughts, our feelings and our opinions. Yes, 
things probably can get heated and yes we can you know get a little bit you know animated or whatnot but it doesn't mean that we're showing aggression it just means that you know and here's the thing me and my friend actually talked about this right when it comes to black women black women can't be you know they can't do that kind of stuff right they can't be passionate but with them when they are when they come off like that oh she's just very passionate about what she's doing she's just very she's just very into that she's passionate right but a black woman is deemed as aggressive so i don't like it when it comes to that but like i said if you exhibit and exude aggression then we have to say it but if you if you just are in your speaking in your truth and all that kind of stuff then we can't really say that so what i will say is i did not like the fact that the men would not say who said it although jessica knew who said it the men were just being very cowardice and not saying that it was chris like they were all saying well it wasn't me it wasn't me it wasn't me man it, it wasn't me can we just say who it was and then the fact that chris definitely once said i was like that was really very very cowardly but that's my opinion you guys can tell me what you guys think and feel in the comments below but let's pause here and move forward you guys so next up let's talk about katarina so i don't have anything against anybody on this cast right but katarina i did not like this scene with you because let's just keep it a buck right in this scene with you you gave a little bit of a pick me energy you gave pick me you also gave in this scene that you're fishing for a connection because i don't think you have anybody that you're connected to in this process currently right next up why were those men sleeping in were those men literally sleeping in bunk beds i had a question about that but back to katarina right so katarina said what i just said a few minutes ago if the shoe fits basically where right but from what we've saw jessica has not been combative right what we can say is alley cat your friend cat your friend alley she came in with herbert very very combative energy right but would we call her combative no respectfully i would not call her combative but she came in with some she came in with some energy that could be considered combative would you call your friend combative i just want to know the answer to that question right so um we see janelle and jessica talking right so jessica was talking about how at this point you know she doesn't really trust marie and i was like okay i get it right and i'm gonna defend marie for just a second right what i will say is marie didn't say you know he wasn't saying colin he wasn't saying it from his experience that jessica was combative right but he could have definitely used a different choice of words um let's see let's see what some synonyms for a combative are Ooh, antagonistic quarrelsome argumentative contentious hostile threatening belligerent oh militant yeah none of these words work <laughs> None of these words work. Oh. They're all... Uh, so, I mean, I'm I'm fine with the fact that Jessica felt the way she felt. There is no positive synonym unless you use a word that people would not necessarily know. Um, Like this word. Truculent. Truculent. If you use that word, truculent... Pugnacious. I thought that's what that word was. Pugnacious. If you use pugnacious and truculent, nobody would know what you're saying. So, oh, and so maybe if, but Jessica has an extensive vocabulary because me and her actually talked and she said that, never mind, I'm not going to go into that, but yeah. But you could, I mean, you could use the words that people don't know, like pug, I mean, pugnacious, pugnacious, truculent. I'm going to use those words. I am going to use those. No, I'm not. Oh, I might. I might. In my, job, in my line of work, pugnacious and truculent. Might use them. Might use them. What does truculent mean? Truculent. They're all the same. It's eager or quick to argue or fight aggressively defiant. So... Exactly. So, like, are y'all not? Uh, never mind. I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. Um, back to this show. Yeah. So we see um the men. So 
They went fishing, right? We find out that uh, Quentin is allergic to seafood. God, I, my siblings are allergic to seafood. And my biological mom, she's like, you're not allergic to it? I'm like, nope. She's like, all of her kids are allergic to it, except, you know, I'm the only one that's not allergic to seafood. I'm like, nope, I love seafood. I love shrimp. I love, oh, God, I love shrimp, catfish, any kind of fish. I just love it. But, yeah, so they're out there fishing, right? Um, This scene, when Janelle came out there, bang! You caught a fish? You, you know how I do. <laughs> you know how I do. We eating good tonight. No, y'all not eating good off of a goldfish. But okay, Janelle. It was very cringy, right? It was very cringy. And I felt like she did that to possibly, you know, potentially, not potentially, to mark her territory because Lee was standing by him. And I was like, ma'am, it is, it's not that deep. But hey, if you feel like it is, it is, right? So, Lee, I want to say this to you real quick too, baby girl. Um... Quentin is not struggling with anything. Quentin is locked in with Janelle. Why? I do not know. But hey, he is, right? Then speaking of Lee, Lee also, when it comes to Chris, I really think Chris was just playing a numbers game with you, babe. Um, it was a nice gesture that he brought you those um, sandals, right? But I still just, I think that those sandals were like, hey, you know, I've messed up. I don't have a connection with, um, you know, Jessica anymore and I need to find a number that can keep me in this process that's what it gave to me I want you guys to f definitely tell me what you think if you agree or disagree with me about that right so yeah yeah J yeah Lee um I just don't think that Chris is that guy for you but if you do hey it is what it is right so then we do see Mario so he eventually sat down with Jessica and you know he apologized for not having any empathy for her. And I I guess I can say I appreciated it. He could have done a little bit more, especially in that scene when he delivered the news. He did not have to use the word combative. And like I said, he could have, I mean, he, I don't think he could have used it. Pugnacious and truculent, those are still the same words. <laughs> They're just a different way to say, you know, a person is combative, right? But hey. It is what it is. So we're going to pause here and we're going to move forward, you guys. So in this scene, in this episode, you guys, I will say once again, I really do feel like with Chris, Chris was just playing the long game, the numbers game, because we saw him and he was doing archery with um with Lee, not Lee, but Aries, right? Mind you, when he when he came with Aries, he didn't come bearing gifts like he did with um Lee with those sandals. So I was like, come. Huh, but you have been so connected to, uh, like, you've been so connected to Aries and Jessica, but now you're, like, it was just, it just kind of threw me off. But, I, I, again, you guys, please tell me how you guys think and feel about that, because that's just the thing that it just gave to me, personally. That's what it gave to me. I want you guys to tell me y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, you guys. Um, After that... We had a bunch of weird dates, right? Marie and Katarina. There is no connection. Why are we forcing a connection at the end of the season? I just, for the life of me, did not understand that. I was just like, okay. I'm starting to see that people are just trying to make it to the end of this game, and the end of this show, because, huh? I was like, make, the math is not math and for me. I don't see it. I don't see it. Then the date with Quentin and Janelle. I was so he was asking Janelle how does she resolve conflict. I was like, sir, you literally saw how she resolves conflict. She is not one to shy away from a fisticuffs. Like <laughs> she's not shy away from it. So you clearly see how she handles conflict. Now maybe she might be softer with a man, but I I sincerely doubt it. Um, he was talking about the fact that with his ex-girlfriend, she didn't tell him that she loved him and, and liked him and all that kind of stuff. But I was like, wait a minute, Quentin, are we rewriting history? Because your ex-girlfriend told us when we met her that you weren't trying to be in a relationship at that time. So is this another ex that you're talking about? Because the last ex that we met, 
It, yeah, you don't you weren't ready to commit to her. But yeah. And then the last one we got is Aries and Phil, you guys. I still do feel like Aries and Phil are a match for each other, but I think uh Aries is starting to have questions and some doubts about financial stability when it comes to um Mr. Phil. And, you know, I have no problem with that. If you have questions, ask the questions and get your questions answered. And if they don't, if they don't align the way that you want them to line up, then move the hell on, right? And that's that. So then we get to the, um, let's pause here, you guys, and move forward. All right, you guys, so then we get to the ladies' lounge. So in the ladies' lounge, the ladies are talking about who their, con who their connections are. So Katarina's con connections, she has two at this point, right? She is feeling Marie and she is feeling Chris, right? Lee is feeling Chris and um, Janelle is obviously feeling Quentin. Jessica is feeling, is locked in with Marie and Aries is locked in with Phil, right? So who are they not feeling? Janelle is not feeling, who did she say? Did she say Chris? I'm pretty positive she said Chris, right? Somebody said Chris. I know Marie's name came up. I believe Maria's name came up with both Aries and Lee. Jessica mentioned Chris and how she feels like Chris is a coward because, you know, he let Maria take the blame for what he had said, right? What I will say is that I did not like is the fact that the women were like, oh, well, Chris said he didn't say that. But then they want to say, but Maria is the one who actually said it. Okay, so... <laughs> Obviously, Maria got that from somewhere. If that has not been his, his his interactions with her and Lee, I like you, right? But when you sat there and said that in your interview that Jessica is jealous, I was like, ma'am, I don't think she's jealous of Chris. I really, truly don't or, or anything. But hey, if that's your thoughts, feelings, and opinions, who am I to say boo, cat, dog, or anything of the sorts, right? So we get the eliminate. So Jessica is doing the eliminate with Chris. And Marie is on the elim his, his eliminate is with um, Aries, right? Aries, you know, pause took a long ass pause to tell Marie he's still ready to love, and we find out that Chris is no longer ready to love, right? So Chris decided that he wanted to lie and say that he wasn't the one that called Jessica combative, because Jessica's thing was, you know, we both mutually said that this wasn't a fit, right? So she says, where was the disconnect? And I saw so many people on Twitter coming at Jessica. I'm like, what has she done? Like, are y'all just really pick me women and male identified? Like, that's really what it was given, right? So, all right, so I was like, sorry, you guys, the camera cut off. Ugh, I'm so ready to get me a new camera because using my phone has just been for the birds. But yeah, so he said that he didn't call her combative. And I was like, sir, a lot don't care. Who tell it? Um, so, yeah, he said that he didn't call her combative, and I was just like, a lie, I don't care who tell it, right? But then, in that same breath, he said to her that she is combative and that she and Janelle are mean girls, right? And I was just like, sir, so you just lied and then called her combative, but then you're the one that's being combative, right? Because his eyes were starting to, you know, his eyes looked like they were filling with tears. I was like, sir, you finna go out in the car and cry. And then, um, you know, I was noticing that, so they were drinking, a, they had glasses of wine, right? And I noticed that he was clutching that, that glass. I'm like, I am so glad that production was there because I felt like he would have just grabbed that drink at any point and just tossed it at Jessica. Cause that's what it was just given to me, but also gave me that, you know, like red on Friday that he went out to the car and started crying. But, uh, yeah, that's it, you guys. And I will talk to you guys. Um, um, let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section, you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications. Share the video, you guys. And until the next time, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.